everyone, it's Sharon. Welcome to Pareto Favorites and Impossible Poo. I have several great items and a couple of fails here in front of me. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been loving and maybe not loving this week, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, I think we're gonna start with our fails this week. So we just end in a positive note on this Friday. Um, quick update, today is the last day of my 500 subscriber giveaway. I will be drawing the winner later tonight. So if you're seeing this, um, it may or may not be too late to enter. If I have entered in the description box of that video that the giveaway is closed, that means it's too late, you can no longer enter. If it does not say that, go ahead and enter. I haven't drawn the winner yet. I'm gonna do that later tonight. So, for my fails, I have technically three things, but really it's just two products. The first, I think, could potentially be controversial. It is a mascara that a lot of people love and I don't hate it but I just realized this week that when I was using it I don't love it and especially when it comes to removing it I really don't love it and that is the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara it's the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara this has been super popular it has a rubble rub wobble rubber bristle wand now I love the way this makes my lashes look well I'll take it back. Sometimes they look kind of spidery because it's a pretty wet mascara. So it kind of just depends on the day and how my lashes tend to take to the mascara. Um, but I hate the way it removes because it is a tubing mascara. It just, it feels gross when I take it off. It feels like kind of, I don't know, gummy maybe? I don't know. It's just, I'm not gonna buy it again. I'll probably use this a few more times because it's definitely not used up and I don't wanna waste it because it wasn't a cheap mascara but I won't buy it again. I, I don't love the way it makes my lashes look. It does make them look longer, but it doesn't necessarily volumize them like I want them to. Um, so for the price and the fact that it kind of grosses me out when I remove it, I'm not gonna buy it again. And I don't even know that I'll use it up all the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, but we'll see. Okay, the next fail is a concealer. It's what I'm wearing today. I'm not sure if you can see, maybe let me zoom you in so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're super up close and personal here with my eyes, but can you see my under eye here that it's creased really bad? You guys, I did my makeup not even five minutes ago and it's already creased this bad. So like, can you, can you tell under here? It's creased and I set it with a powder. Okay, so the concealer I'm talking about, and let me tell you, I think it's very possible that mine is just too old and it's not working for me that way because I know a lot of people love this and I, liked it before so I'm thinking maybe mine's just too old it's the flower beauty concealer the light illusion full coverage concealer I really think it's too old I just have two because I have two different shades I have fair and I have light I'm wearing fair right now I love the shade of it I love the coverage but holy cow it creased so dang fast and I'm sorry I have lots and lots of concealers in my collection that aren't creasing this fast and like I said I set it right away it shouldn't have creased this quickly let me know if you've experienced this if you have this concealer like I said I think it might be guilty of it just being too old and that's what's working against it maybe or maybe it's just creased this way all along and I didn't notice it maybe that too either way it's a fail this week Okay, on to my faves. We will start with lashes. Since I had a lash fail, I have a lash favorite. It is a longtime holy grail favorite of mine that has just recently come back into my collection after I didn't have it for a while. And that is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I am wearing it today. I absolutely adore this mascara. It tends to be more of a dry formula, which I really like. It does have a rubber um, wand and it is curved, if you can see that. It is a curved wand, it's rubber bristles. This is just the regular formula, not waterproof. This, let me tell you, you can build the heck out of this mascara and it looks good every time because it's a little bit drier. It's not super wet, so it doesn't get clumpy. It just fans everything out. It makes things longer. It makes things more voluminous. I'd say it gives you kind of like a fluffy looking eyelash, which is what I personally like. I don't want spider, don't want spiky lashes. I want volume, like I want, nice fanned out fluffy looking volume and I can get that with this mascara. I just absolutely love it and it's been back in my collection and I've been using it like crazy. 
Okay, sticking with the theme of eyes, that's what I have on my eyes today. It is the Too Faced uh, Hot Buttered Rum Mini Palette. This is from last year's holiday collection from Too Faced. I saw this on Samantha March's video. I'm actually not even subscribed to Samantha March. It was just one of those that like her video played next and she was holding up her favorite fall palettes and this was one of them and when I saw it I was like yep I need to have that. Now I didn't consider that they were coming out with one for this season but they have. They have by the way. They, they do have a mini for this season. I do like this one better just looking at the colors. I could tell this one's better suited for me. I got this on Amazon. I'll have everything linked below of course. I have an all matte look on. I used, it's real powdery. Um, oh, the names are on the back. I used Vanilla Extra on my eyelid. And then in the crease, I used Bottoms Up. And I topped the crease just a little bit like on to fan out the edges with this um, bottom right in Buttered Rum. And then on the outer corner is this deep, deep brown in um, Cinnamon. I really like this. I love the shimmers also. It's just a really nice compact neutral palette. Uh, the thing I love about this is that there's only eight shades and I feel that gives you variety. Like for instance, I have this elf quad in front of me. This I love, but I feel like I don't have enough options with this. This gives me just that much more, but it's still in one palette and that's what I like. I love this. I wish I had more palettes that were this size because this is such a nice thing to work with. You're not overwhelmed by too many shadows, yet you have enough to get a whole bunch of really diverse looks, whether you want to do shimmer or matte or dress it up for the evening. Whatever you want to do, you can do it with this, and I love that. Okay, on my lips is this MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. It is, I would say, a cult classic, I feel like. I hear about it all the time. I've heard about it for years and years and years. I've just never wanted to spend the money on a MAC Lip Liner. But they were recently on 21 Days of Beauty, so I got it for $9, and really that's getting close to drugstore prices, maybe a little high, but $9 for a really large lip pencil that I think looks great, I'm all for it. So I really like this. And then last two products are both from Benefit. Again, thanks to, ooh, there's hair in my eye. Ooh, that hurt. Um, thanks to the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta, I was able to get my hands on two products that I have been missing very dearly from my collection, and those are Benefit Boxed Powders. I have Hoopa Light and Rockateur. Rockateur has a special place in my heart because this was the very first high-end blush that I ever purchased. I used it up like completely, not another drop in it. It took me years and years to do, but I absolutely love it. I have it on right now. It's it's beautiful if you haven't seen it and mine still looks so pretty because it's new you can see all the indents in it it's just gorgeous it does take a minute to build the color and you can see there it's very light it's not a super pigmented blush that's why I like it I'm learning that about myself the lighter the blush the happier I am because I am pretty pale and so it doesn't take much to give me a really nice flush and the thing I love about this too is that it does have that beautiful sheen to it so I don't have a highlighter or on or anything. It's just this blush and I just absolutely adore it. They took it away for a while. When I ran out, I wanted to buy another and they weren't, they weren't making it. And now all of a sudden magically it's back and I was like, holy cow. And it was on 21 Days of Beauty. So it was half price. So for $15, heck yeah, I picked this thing up. I'm pumped. I wanted to buy two, but I refrained. I love this. Sorry. I got real excited there about that blush. That was maybe like little much. Onto the Hula Light Bronzer. I love this. I've used this up completely in the past. I think it's a beautiful shade um, for someone that's pale. I love the way it blends out. I just have it kind of around the perimeter of my face, um, a little bit along the edges and kind of down my neck just to bronze a little bit. Like it's just a nice, a nice light bronze. And for 15 bucks, I wanted it back because I did use it up all the way. I really like it. And they just smell good. I don't even know what they smell like, but they smell good. So, and they smell different. They have different smells, kind of perfumey. My ear itched. That was weird. Okay, that was a little bit longer this week. I do apologize. Thanks for hanging in there. If you did, go ahead and leave this emoji. I'm going to put on the screen. Put this emoji right here down in the comments so I know you watched all the way to the end. If you did, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Let me know what you've been loving as well and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.